A lot of people have recovered from COVID-19. Some may think they beat the disease, but then they're diagnosed with a different chronic condition. So it's all so new and both of our locations have definitely seen several and we are getting more phone calls. While there is no cure, the syndrome that can cause an increased heart rate and dizziness is treatable. Channel 9's Gina Esposito spoke to a neurologist and a patient about the condition. And I went to the doctor. For nearly nine years, doctors told Christy Broad she had anxiety, but in fact, it was something else. It's called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS. POTS is very often misdiagnosed as anxiety because there are a lot of overlapping symptoms. Um, but for me, I had fatigue, I had the rapid heart rate, um, specifically for POTS, when you stand up, your heart rate goes up a lot. So I could feel that and I could even see it you know, on my Fitbit, I would stand up and I'd look down and my heart rate would be in 140s or 150s just standing up for my desk. Ron found the Carolina Functional Neurology Center where Dr. Lauren Brindisi treats patients with POTS at her office in Huntersville. First, I want you to look right at my thumb. Okay. And I'm going to come in towards your nose. Dr. Brindisi says since the start of the pandemic, they've seen several patients uh, diagnosed with POTS after they've recovered from COVID-19. Since last month, her office saw a 50% increase in calls from people who've had COVID and since developed POTS or are suspected of a similar diagnosis. Our biggest thing is we really want to raise awareness because we've been treating this disorder for years and a lot of these patients who we've seen previously develop these type of symptoms after infections. Now, now we know we're, we're likely going to see that more and we don't want patients to wait to get the care that they need. There are different forms of treatment. For broad, it involved tilt table therapy, which is used to retrain your brain on how to handle gravity. She says the results were immediate, adding there is hope for those with COVID who might develop POTS symptoms. So after living with you know, these symptoms daily for almost nine years to now on pretty much every day, I feel fine. Like, I, I feel like my life is back to normal. According to the organization Dysautonomia International, anyone between the ages of 15 and 50 can get POTS. But get this, they say 80% of patients are women. Back to you. It's fascinating. Thanks, Gina. POTS disorder is just one of many long-lasting issues people can face after a COVID-19 diagnosis. Many are dealing with symptoms for months. They call themselves long haulers, and they usually have breathing issues, but some symptoms can impact the brain, eyes, and skin.